Hey guys, it's Jules here, and recently I got a request to do a goth scene emo kind of Halloween look, and this is a really simple one, and I'm not really a big fan of labels, so please don't be like, oh, that's scene, not goth. I really don't give a fuck, honestly. This is just your ba basic black look. Black, scary, death, whatever. So we're going to start off with, of course, black. This is one of my favorite black eyeshadows, it's the High Intensity Pigments. Shit, if I can get it open. We're just gonna take it and just put a lot on. And you're gonna wanna extend it really, really far. And then do the whole lid. And don't worry if it's not perfect, because that's okay. <laughs> So this is a good Halloween look. You could obviously use it for something else, just the basic black, um, but it just works best as a goth emo scene look. God, I feel really lame saying that. I hate labels. It's just really dumb. It's like, I'm not eating any of those and I have my eyebrow pierced, so fuck that. I'm whatever I want to be. Repeat on the other side. Just keep going all over the top and extend it out um, I don't know if you have noticed this but I'm quite the fan of cat eyes this one is so not even matching not even close so just put a lot on until you think that you got enough if you think that you've got enough you probably are just reaching that point because you can never have too much black so basically we're gonna have this, this black, just a lot, and then you're gonna put a lot on the bottom too. So just smudge it under there. This could also be an Egyptian look, I guess. I just associate anything with cat eyes to an Egyptian look. I guess that's kind of bad, but I see a lot of people doing this. Who are in the kind of goth scene crowd whatever so perfect we got that and now we don't even need eyeliner because this kind of acts as its own eyeliner so basically what we're gonna do if you watch my geisha look we use this blush this red blush and what i like to do to kind of add to the deadly kind of look is you just take it and we're just gonna line a little bit not as intense as the geisha look we're just like line right under that black line that you just made. Let me come in a little bit more so you can see the, and just match it. And repeat on the other side. Great. So we're almost done here. We're just gonna, you can't see this <laughs> probably, but there's a little bit, if a little bit falls down, just kind of brush it. Or if you like that as part of your look, do that. Great. Perfect. So now, pretty much done with the eye area. You could, of course, expand from that any way you want. But now we're going to do the lips. And now I don't have any black lipstick, and if you're in a pinch for a Halloween costume, you probably don't either. So I'm just going to use this eyeliner pencil pen and see how that goes. Just going to line it and fill it in. Probably gonna look like a chola in about five seconds. Oh yeah. Nice. Mix it around. I guess this is more of a goth look because I don't see any scene kids wearing black lipstick, but whatever. Do what you want to do. Dye your hair crazy colors. I'm dyeing my hair tomorrow, as a matter of fact. You probably won't even notice because I usually wear wigs. Okay, I need to stop talking before I really fuck up this lipstick. Perfect. Not really. Okay. And if you like, if you feel like that isn't dark enough, you could always just take the same exact eyeshadow that you just used. God, I can never get this open. <laughs> and you just take it, and we're just going to put a little bit more on. And just pat it on. 
And it would be really great if you wanted to put some lip, like gloss or something over this. It would help blend it in a little bit more. And this will be good for now. Or just invest in some black lipstick. So, for our final touches, because this is pretty much done, I got some rings. Now, I love piercings, facial piercings, everything. So, I always have some random rings around that I don't, I only have this. So, this is real. But I always pretend with these. So, if you got a little septum ring, perfect, put that in. I also have this ring that I use as a lip ring. Let's try to put it in without messing up my lipstick. Perfect. So, now, here's our goth emo look, and you're ready to go. I hope this helps you. If you again, if you want me to do anything you want, I can try. <laughs> so just leave a comment, send me a message, an email, whatever. If you like it, then let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.